Welcome back to The Inside. Very excited today to have Envoy join me. Uh, there's some recent news as of yesterday of some new products, but uh, today Larry and Alex have joined me. Larry's been on before, so you've come accustomed to, to hearing his deep insights into the, the office and, and work. And I welcome Alex for the first time coming on and really appreciate the two of you. I know it's exceptionally busy, um, uh, but taking the time to share uh, not only what you all are doing, but then also the application of it and your, your thoughts around uh, getting back to work healthy and happy. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. Like this today is going to be uh, pretty crazy. And I think it's it's just really, really nice to be able to introduce new things to us. Yeah, absolutely. So why don't we just jump right into it? And we'll so we'll talk a little bit about so you have now Envoy Desk, uh, which is one of those things that you, when you hear about it and see what it is, it's so like, you know, why haven't we been doing this? But then, and I know it's not that easy. Alex, I'm sure, <laughs> but um, so Larry or Alex, why don't you go ahead and kick it off a little bit of what exactly is it that you all introduced with Envoy Desk? Yeah, absolutely. So Envoy Desk is basically our new offering for kind of workplaces as they're considering going back and thinking about, hey, how can we be as safe as possible? And how can we kind of be thoughtful about how people are uh, doing when they go inside their office and then what they're doing throughout the rest of the day there too. So it's all about kind of being proactive there, uh, being thoughtful about, hey, let's space people around and and just being part of the bigger suite where where you've done the screening, you've, you've gone through the different, like the door access, you've gone through kind of the capacity management, but hey, there's more to it. And and we're, we're here to really, really help with, with kind of how do we keep groups together and how do we keep individuals kind of in an environment that, that they can actually be productive in um, a lot of these people don't even have choices to do this. So we're really excited about this because it's a it's such a bigger part of this hybrid workplace that we're really building towards. And and we think that the desks portion is just something people are going to spend so much time at that that companies need to make it easy for people to be safer and, and more thoughtful. So yeah, really excited to be uh, building this. Yeah, so the, the ability to do desk reservation, hot desking in some cases, I'm guessing also uh, room, it, it's basically if there's a desk in a room though, people can reserve it too on that end. So this idea of, of making the, the, the workplace work for how you work, I guess I don't, I don't want to use the word work 17 times, but, but it sounds, it, it's the tools that you're introducing to be, give people the ability to go do that, which is, which is great. It was really helps the space utilization side and the human capital end of it. Um, and then I also wonder to the fact that you, you use the word thoughtfulness, which I always like that you do that a lot when we, we have these conversations is that there's, there's a sense too, as a, an employee, when I, you know, open up an application, like an operating system, more or less for my office. And it ha it gives me the ability to really pick where I want to work and see where other teammates are and the rest. So there, there's this thoughtfulness that it feels like the my employer is taking because they're implementing tools just like they used to implement HR tools and some other stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And when, you know, if you go back to May, we introduced Envoy Protect and that was about getting people back now that we're able to get them back, now we want to make it easier for them to start using the space effectively and collaborate together. Uh, and, you know, for example, bring in your teammates so that you can sit near each other in a socially distanced COVID appropriate way. But, uh, you know, people still want to work together and they still want to be able to have that time uh, in the office together, maybe not every day of the week. Um, and so that's why it's super important to be able to have something like Envoy Desks, uh, but definitely want to be thoughtful about the future of collaboration in, in a hybrid workplace and be able to provide that for employees. Very cool. And then, so uh, if I work like in a multi-tenant, so is this intended for single location or can I do it in multi as well? So if I, you know, happen to be here in the DC area and I go out to San Francisco, like, talk to me a little bit about sort of the functionality of it. Yeah, so Envoy Desk uh, works for any, for any office space as long as you uh, basically set it up. So if you're an employee, you can you can move around, right? And I think that's definitely a future that, that we see is very likely is, Maybe you um, you do a few days at home, and then maybe you do a few days in an office. And you know, DC SF, maybe you're not making that that kind of trip every week. But um, maybe there's like two offices in in DC that you want to try out because you have colleagues in one office that's really close to your home, and then you got colleagues that kind of a middle middle ground between you and that other office. And so you can just pull out your phone and pick what office you want to go to, and then grab a desk there and make sure that your your colleagues are also coming using using all the desks. Um, so that's how it works. Cool. So, all right. So, perfect. So, pretty straightforward and and useful tool that I have to believe people, especially if they're 
you know, it, if they're using Envoy Protect or they're taking a look at how am I going to manage my office, it makes total sense of why they would want to do that. So good on you all for bringing that out to marketplace. So let, let me ask you, so if we get into like my, my favorite part of this, this is more the theoretical type conversations, if you would. Um, when we're, we're hearing the term hybrid thrown around a lot. Uh, and and I, I understand the practical side of what it means. It's like, you know, I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's not one thing, right? So I get that. But I, I guess what, I, what I'm curious to understand, though, is sort of the impacts of hybrid and what it actually means, right? Whether it's different tools that are needed, what is the cultural stuff? So for those, since you all are, you know, you're experts in this now and you're seeing you've got real live customers doing this, like Lionsgate and the press release and some others, you know, what is what does it mean to them other than letting their people decide when they want to work? What, like, what are the impacts that it has on the business that you see both positive and negative or also ones that are somewhat maybe not known yet or open, you know, for discussion still? I'd love your insights on that. Yeah, absolutely. So so let's think about it a little bit. So we have about, what is it? We're up to about 1.5 million people that have kind of gone through the Envoy Protect system. So we have a lot of thoughts from a lot of different companies, lots of different industries. And we've what we've noticed is that people are going back to the workplace in some areas where they really need it. Like sometimes they have to be back, like if they're in a, a warehouse or a factory, or if they have to work with equipment, like especially in, in any kind of biotech, like they're working with physical machines and, and they have to be there for that. But in some companies, really you're going back to the workplace because at home it's still not tenable like you don't have a stable internet connection you don't have like the the room or the space or sometimes it's multiple people per per bedroom even so what the hybrid workplace is about is about how do we make it such that people at home are are successful people at the workplace are successful and people also they could be in a co-working space or in a satellite office and, and how do we like help these people get together on certain days? Like, uh, like Alex was saying, maybe they're in a couple days a week or maybe they're in um, every day. But in, in both of these scenarios, it should be easy to know, is this person here? Is this person at home today? Is this person in this other office? And it should help you plan for, for that day. If people are gonna to be together, let's make sure that everybody kind of has their badge enabled to get into the office. Let's make sure that people can maybe place their food order. Let's make sure that people can can be counted and like make sure that that entire group can fit for the office and we don't go over capacity. So the hybrid workforce is really just about how do we allow for, for kind of groups of folks to come in and then be thoughtful about making sure they have the right resources for them. So a meeting room that's big enough for all of them, for example, if they wanted to have some sort of brainstorming session. And, and I think that that's really where it gets interesting. As somebody who's leading in this, are there any best practices that you would uh, give to anybody that's trying, you know, thinking about what they should do and if they're moving to a hot desking type uh, hybrid approach, um, what have you seen that you would recommend that they, uh, they do an approach? So I guess if they, uh, if if a customer, if an, if, a, if an employer is thinking about adopting hot desking, thinking about the hybrid workplace, and and really adapting their space to be more flexible to who's coming in, uh, we think that's great. Um, and to get started, I would say you know what, what we've seen is it's great to sort of pilot it. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about the challenges of change management and making sure that that your your, your employees are bought in. Um, but it's really it's important to kind of build a culture and design your space around this. Um, so really helping to make sure that employees from the get-go are bought in and um, you know, sort of adapting this uh, at one site just to try it, but then really pushing it out and getting everybody bought into it. Um, it, is a, it is a slight cultural change from you know, the, the, the old normal, but we've all gone through a lot of change during the pandemic and how we use our space. So people are pretty flexible to adapting to this. Um, it's just important to, to help them understand sort of the purpose of it. And, and a big part of it is about collaboration and being able to get back into the space safely. So um, as long as you, you know, you as an employer, make sure that that's clear. Um, it's really it's really helpful for employees. So they're going to be really excited to adopt it. And I actually want to add on that for a second, because it's it's actually that's exactly it. It's about getting the employees to really kind of they have to accept this. Um, I've talked about this a little bit in the past where it's like, your, the safety of the workplace will only really happen if people all buy into the different practices that we're all kind of 
that, that are being proposed. So if, if uh, people are coming in, they should be using their mobile app with, with our, our solution, for example, where they're getting a desk there and they're sitting at the desk there. And they know that everybody else is at their assigned desks as well. And they know that, hey, we have a capacity limit here and, and we've all answered the survey correctly and we all had our badges enabled. Like this is kind of the, the purpose here. Like it will only work, the safety only works if everybody is bought in. And, and we really feel strongly that, that the user experience, the design, just a general, hey, what is this experience of this flow like? Well, thank you very much, Larry and Alex. I really appreciate you taking the time to tell us about the Envoy Desk, Envoy Protect, and ensuring the best practices uh, you all are leading uh, in this area. And it's great to have the opportunity to spend some time with you to do this. So thank you as always for, for sharing it. Absolutely. I'll say thanks for having us. And if anybody wants to learn anything more about it, Envoy.com, um, there's all sorts of links on there about the, our new desk product and kind of what we're building with the bigger suite with uh, Envoy Protect. So very excited to help in whatever way we can. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we'll add the links and make sure people do that. So thank you and good luck with everything.